Hello guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel. Today, my friends, the title does not mislead you. This is Super Mario 64, but different. And the reason why it's different is because it's a Super Mario 64 horror game. And I thought, you know what? I want to get into the Halloween spirit. And the seaters, I thought, why not play a Super Mario 64 horror game? I don't know why these things exist in the world, but... We're going to check it out and see what this game's all about, okay? So hopefully, you're going to enjoy it. Oh, and it's first person as well. This is sick. Okay. Hi. Hey, Mario, it's me, Bowser. All these sounds were made by me to move around. Use WSD to run and hold shift to jump. Uh, oh. WSD to move to run, hold shift to jump. Use the space bar. Okay. Just been with me a little bit of a... Brief there on the controls, so WASD, normal normal controls as you would expect on PC. But, Asita's, uh, I'm interested to try this one out, you know I mean? I'm always down for these sorts of things, and I thought, you know what, a horror game, whether it's spooky or not, is worth, worth a try, you know what I mean? Uh, what's this? So I want you to play my levels, come on, play them. Oh, and also go inside the castle to progress. <laughs> Okay, so we need to go in the castle then. Right, let's go inside and uh, see what the hell's going on. Right, F to use the flashlight. Oh, nice. Oh, he's got like classic Resident Evil doors like on the loading animation screens. What is this? Oh, that's cool. That is cool. What can be so spooky about a Mario game? Mario is meant to be lovable. The first course is through the leftmost door. Okay, so I'm guessing it's the the far left door. Right. Let's go inside, boys. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's see what this is all about. Who comes up with these ideas? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's cool, but it's just weird. <laughs> I mean, I played this game when I was a kid. The original, but... You remember how this works, don't you? So, what are you waiting for? Jump into the painting. Here we go! Bum, 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 bum. Okay. I was waiting for the... Do you know like the old saying that he's going, Mr. Pickle! Let's go! Let's go on a spooky adventure! Right, warning, stray too far from the dirt path and you might get lost. Hee 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 hee. Okay. So, basically tell me to stay on the dirt path. I'm not sure what to expect in this sort of game. I'm expecting there to be like, all sorts of mad things. Maybe creatures chasing you or something, or zombie bowers or something. I do not know. I'm expecting that sort of thing though. But, only time will tell boys. Only time will tell. Don't wait the chomp. He hates it when his sleep is disturbed. Oh my days, that does not sound good. Yo, look at that! You got some nice teeth there, my friend. Oh my days! My god. Uh, so we've got Chomp, which I remember from the original game. I used to, you have to get a star from him in the original game. He used to be tied to this like stick thing. You have to slam the stick in. And like, uh, you'd escape and break this like cage door for you so then you can get the star. I remember that back in the day. You know what I mean? There were some good times. Keep going now. Okay, can't teleport. Okay. <laughs> you have a choice. Okay, what's the choice? Uh, sign? You can jump the gap or you can walk around the board, but which way is safer? Uh, I'm guessing walking around the board. Let's go the board way.
Didn't matter either way it was good. You felt tense, didn't you? <laughs> no, I did, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you that. I actually felt like I was going to die or something. Listen carefully. Listen carefully to what? Find another way. What way? Why, where are we going? Oh no. We've got to fight a boss battle. You right, bro? Wanna fight me? Like you did in the original game? Uh, what's this? I'm sorry, Mario. I know I shouldn't put the spawn point closer to <laughs> King Bomb Bomb. Okay. Okay, what's this one? Don't worry, you're almost there. Okay, now time for the fun part. You get to kill him. Okay, nice. Execution. Let's go. Press the E button. Big bomb went boom. Okay, why is that star look angry? <laughs> okay, so you got one of the stars. Okay, I was expecting to jump back from the, through the painting then. Uh, but okay, so we, we've done that one now, I guess. Um, just trying to think now. What do we do next? Do we do like all the levels in the game or something? And look for these like angry stars or something? Okay, so we can't go through them. Uh... Oh, okay. I can't move them there. Uh, this one requires one star, so I guess we have to do that one first to come into this one. I'm not sure how many levels are available in this fan-made horror game, um, but hopefully there's going to be a couple of levels at least. Uh... Oh, a cool, cool mountain! Alright, let's do this. I want to shut the penguin off the roof or something. Can you remember when we used to do that in the main, in the main game? I did it on a fan-made game as well. Follow the coins, they will guide you. Okay. Oh, we're going down the chimney? Okay. I do know from this game, though, um, there is, like, two different sorts of stars. You can get an evil star and a good star. There's, like, a hidden quest that you can do to get the good stars, or there's just the standard quest, which we're, we're going to be doing, to get the main star, like, the angry star. Oh, about the red ones, you ask? Uh, don't mind those, they're just there for decoration. No, they're not. They're to, I reckon they're there to get the other star. But obviously we just need to find them all. So weird playing it in the dark atmosphere. Why? Why can't I see things? Come on. <laughs> Snowman head. How you doing, bro? Long time no see. Cross the bridge, after that there will be more coins to lead the way. I know it's easy to get lost, but you're doing great. Well, doing good. Hang in there. Okay, so cross the bridge. I'm so glad the original level was, like, bright and colourful. So you can see around. This is... This is mad, playing this, like, in the dark scenery. It's just... It's hard to see anything.
Okay. Furthest little baby penguin off. Go ahead. It'll be fun. That, and it's the only way to progress. Oh, we got to be cruel to a little baby penguin. Okay, there's the mother. Right, I'm sorry, little guy. But we're going to relive my childhood. <laughs> You're going to die, okay? No hard feelings. Goodbye, my friend. I'm sorry. It just, yeah, needed to be done. <laughs> this game's awesome. <laughs> we get to be cruel. Right. Uh, it'll be fun. That's the only way to progress. Okay. Right. I guess we've got to go this way now. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Going the right way. Got to keep going this way to get the star. Two stars now. Okay. <laughs> the end. Mama Penguin killed Mario. Okay, so for all the years of when I grew up, chucking the baby penguin off the cliff, Big Mama came to the came to the rescue, claimed her revenge, and took us out. Hey Bowser here, thanks for playing the, my first two levels. I'm still working on the rest. If you want to stay updated on my progress, you can follow uh, me on Twitter and the game page on GamingJill.com. Peace out. Okay, so that, my friends, is Super Mario 64, but different. That's part one to it. There is other versions of this game that are available as well, which I'm going to check out as well as a different video. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed it. A little something different there. It's not really scary, scary, but... Obviously, it's a Super Mario 64 horror game, and I thought, do you know what? We're going to play a few scary games leading up to the Halloween, so I thought this would be something that would be great for you. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see more cool videos like this, then guys, then let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care.